Now, there has been reported over on Reclaim the Debt that Fauci, a book, has deleted a post saying that Jesus died that you might live. Now, there are people getting all up in a tizzy that Fauci, a book, has deemed this to be hate speech or one appeal. An appeal in this post, one of the key tenets of the Christian faith that Jesus died that others might live. Yes, we understand that's what they believe. But that is hate speech and we shall take it down. We shall not abide anymore, you Christians, thinking you got yourselves a free speech, a free First Amendment. Sure, we can read that First Amendment. Congress shall make no law respecting the establishment of religion, nor prohibiting the free exercise thereof, nor the freedom of a, reaching the freedom of expression, freedom of speech, or of the press. Now, we have some things to understand. Yes, we know that that was the number one thing, that First Amendment. Those U.S. founders were only a couple hundred years or less out from the point where in England... You were burned at the stake for having an English Bible, or printing it, or disseminating it. And William Tyndale, who was smuggling the English Bible into the country, not under the, not under the state, not under authorization by the state or the church, he was burned at the stake, burned alive, for that crime to be quoting scripture. And so then, we saw that the U.S. founders, with their finicky Ten Amendments Bill of Rights, did number one say that the Congress shall make no law respecting the establishment of religion, nor prohibit the free exercise thereof, nor to mess around with the freedom of speech. But we here, this bureau, oath-bound, serve of the New World Order, David Rockefeller's vision, those of other Luciferians who you have not been permitted to know about, the George Soros types of this day, we are censoring. We are coming after you and your posts. Religious hate speech or dandelions and smoothies. We will not allow you, as I put out in these press conferences for these many days now, we will not allow you to upload World Trade Center Building 7 collapse footage to censor YouTube. That has been eliminated. You shall not be able to do it. We have control of the Wikipedia, which I'm going to give some more examples of. You cannot. We will put things on lockdown there, should you think that you have the right to go in there and edit content and put up what you think is true. We are coming for you. We are deleting you. We are to crush and destroy the free speech. And Governor DeSantis of Florida just flew to the state of Israel and signed a law there that is banning freedom of speech. Something to do with what John the Revelator saw or said, revealed to him of Jesus, by Jesus, the Isle of Patmos, in his revelation that many do cite, he spoke about the synagogue of Satan, those who are say they are Jews, but are not Jews. Fake Jews. Fake Jews hate real Jews. Anyway, that, Governor DeSantis has done us good. He is criminalizing speech in Florida.